This is the Evolution Rage Twin. These are quite special machines. I've actually been sent this by Evolution to test out. So I'm going to give it a fair test and see exactly what it can do. The machine is quite unique in that it has two blades that go in opposite directions. So one blade goes clockwise, the other goes counterclockwise. Apparently that means that there's no kickback from the machine whatsoever. So that's an interesting feature. I'm not entirely sure how reliable these are because I've just got it. So I can't really comment on the reliability but we're going to see if it can do the basic things that Evolution say it can do. It's quite a lightweight machine. This is the 155mm version or 6 inch. And by looking at it I can see that it's got replaceable brushes so that's always a good thing. On the top there is an attachment where you can put a lubricating stick for when you're cutting aluminium and a few other metals. Apparently you don't need to use that when you're cutting steel. So this machine will cut steel, aluminium, wood and plastic. So it's quite a lightweight machine really, it's not at all heavy. And the good thing is it does actually come with a case. A lot of the time you have to buy a power tool and then you have to buy the case to go with it. This actually comes with the case. But I can see that the handle has to be fixed now. Once the handle is fitted, I don't think we'll get it back in the case. So you probably have to remove the handle each time you put it away. I'm now going to fit the handle to the machine and then we're going to test it out on a few various materials. This is quite a powerful machine actually, it is 1200 watts. So for the size of it, it's a very powerful machine. We're going to test this out on this piece of angle iron, which is a fairly substantial chunk. The quality of the cut is pretty good, it's a lot better than what you would get with an angle grinder on this thickness of metal. And we do have a tiny burr at the end there where we've exited the cut. So that is a fair old chunk of metal so it has cut that quite easily. It did actually cut through that very quickly indeed, but as you can see we have got quite a few burrs on that. And I did something that you'd never normally do, which is go in the opposite direction to what you're cutting. So you can see that we have got a few burrs on there, but they'd clean off pretty easily. But it did cut through that very quickly. So it performed very well there to be honest, that was uh, quite a good cut. We could soon clean those burrs up off there with a flat disc. It does say in the instructions that you can add the lubricating stick when you are cutting stainless steel so I assume that it can cut stainless steel. So I've now put a piece of 316 stainless in the vise which I'm going to try to cut. I've put the stick in there and I've ensured that it is touching the blade. So we're going to see if this can actually cut 316 stainless. Right, I have to say that that was actually quite impressive. It did cut through that stainless steel very quickly and very easily with the minimum of burrs. That was quite an impressive cut that. I'm actually going to get another piece of stainless steel now and we'll just give it a try on another piece of stainless. So I'm now going to push the lubricating stick in a bit more and then I'm going to try cutting this piece of stainless box section. Again, this is 316 stainless steel. It's very tough, very difficult to cut. So 
So you can see that it's cut through that very cleanly indeed. We do have a slight burr there, but that's nothing. If you look at that side, that is the side that was actually cut with the still saw. So you can see that it has actually burnt it and put massive burrs on that side. But on this side, we've got a relatively clean cut with minimal burrs. So it is very good at cutting stainless steel. I'm not entirely sure how long the blade would last if you were constantly cutting stainless steel with it, but it does work and it works rather well. It can be difficult cutting aluminium at home, so we're going to cut this piece of 6mm checker plate. You can see that it has cut that and it's cut it very cleanly with the minimum of burrs. So it is very good on non-ferrous metals, providing of course you use the lubrication stick. You can of course cut wood with this machine using the same blade, although it does tend to throw up quite a lot of dust. Again you'll notice that the actual blade guard is jammed in the open position again so that seems to be a bit of a problem maybe the spring isn't powerful enough to pull that back it can be difficult cutting steel sheets like this You can see that it did cut that very quickly indeed and very easily. It can be difficult cutting this kind of stainless steel, especially once it's been bent into a shape like this. This is 316 stainless, so it isn't magnetic, and I've measured the thickness and it is approximately one and a half mil thick. I'd just like to point out that when I'm using this machine, I actually wear safety glasses, ear defenders, and also a full face visor. That is because with both blades spinning in opposite directions, it does tend to throw the swarf everywhere. I've now put the lubricating stick in and I'm now going to attempt to cut through this piece of stainless steel. As you can see, that's cut that quite well actually, because of the speed I was going at, I was actually going through it pretty quickly. So it's not the best cut in the world, but that was probably down to me. It did actually cut that pretty well, and you could quite easily clean that up using a flat disc. It would not be a problem at all. So that's the Evolution Rage Twin. This is a very handy machine. It can do a lot of things that other machines cannot do. We'll just take a quick look at the blades. Even after cutting the stainless steel, you can see that the blades are still in good condition. So it is a very handy machine, but I have to say that I do not like the guard on this machine. The guard is almost useless. You can pull the guard all the way back and it will just stay there. Even when you pull the trigger, it does not spring back. And to be honest, when you're cutting some materials, the guard just gets in the way because it actually snags on what you're cutting. So it's not the best guard in the world. I would also like to see some form of dust extraction when you're cutting wood because when you do cut the wood the dust goes everywhere. 
So it is a very handy machine and it's very good at what it does. It could do with some dust extraction on there and it could also do with a better guide. Having said that, it is a very handy little machine.